Hello again, human beings from the planet Earth. I'm bringing you some more obnoxious news about that infidel Obama uh, now invading the home of a Twitterer, or the Secret Service did on his behalf anyway. Um, and this just pisses me off. And thanks to the anonymous person who passed this along to me uh, through Facebook in a message. I'm going to go ahead and read. I'll link you to it, obviously. Uh, Tom Frank Hoist was visited by the Secret Service merely because he posted anti-Obama messages for his large Twitter following to read. Now this, you know, doesn't worry me. Uh, it, it's not a worry. It's a consideration, I guess. Uh, m maybe it, a hope is a, is a better word. Because I want these motherfuckers to come to my house and ask me questions. Because this is how it goes here. Okay? Uh, I'll answer your questions. It's one for one, tit for tat. I'll answer one of your questions truthfully, and you're going to answer one of mine. And when you stop answering truthfully or stop answering, so do I. And you will leave. And it will be on video. Other than that, I got nothing to say to none of you cocksuckers. Okay? And I have a fairly large Twitter following, I think. I don't know, 73,000, 72,000. Uh, and you can see, this is six hours ago. This goes out daily and has for a year the petition to arrest the son of a bitch. And I'm sure there's other ones in here, if I remember right. There's, I'm always tweeting. So you know that, YouTubers. I'm, if Obama slips up and I see it. Okay, so uh, I'm sick and tired of looking out the window to see if old glory is still flying to reaffirm my shaky belief that I still reside in America. Frank Oyce never threatened the president. He simply lambasts and lampoons his actions, facial expressions, and unconstitutional policies, as do many of us. The most thin-skinned president in the history of the public has, uh, Republic has proven once again that he has done nothing uh, but disdain for the First Amendment. The Secret Service agents arrived at the home of Tom Frank Coy and asked if they could come inside and take a look around, not, uh, noting that he had nothing to hide and not wanting to see his things tossed about if the agents were forced uh, to wait for a warrant, the avid political cartoon creator let the men inside. Frank Hoy maintains that while he loathes Barack Obama's policies, he's never threatened him in any way, shape, or form. I scanned hundreds of Frank Hoy's tweets, which were uh, cited reasons for the Secret Service agents arise, arriving at the blogger's porch, so nothing violent, just the same angst felt by millions of constitution-loving patriots. Frank Hoy was reportedly told by the Secret Service agents that his large Twitter following was a concern. While Tom does have a sizable number of followers, his numbers do not make him anywhere near a household name. Per perhaps that is what President Obama it was trying to prevent. Uh, Secret Service agents asked Frank Hoy to sign an authorization to review medical and mental health records form after a search premises document was signed. Tom signed the form simply to facilitate matters so future visits would not be necessary. While the decisions were both pragmatic and understandable, American citizens should not feel compelled to share their medical and mental health records with the government simply because they exercise their First Amendment rights in front of 11,692 Twitter for and, and And that's a pretty good Twitter, I guess. Uh, but again, I have 73,000, 72,000. It grows about uh, 50 a day. Um, my clout score is fairly high, somewhere around 63, 65. You can see there's always somebody, every hour, somebody, or a couple of hours, somebody's saying something to me. So I reach a lot of people. Um, and this poor guy here, you know, he, he's just speaking his mind and defending what's right. And uh, I'm not going to read the rest of this to you because it's just fucking ridiculous. It doesn't matter what the all, you know, what are you doing? Why are we paying for this, folks? You're paying for this. You're paying for Americans to be fucking tormented and harassed, okay, 
for speaking their mind. People died for you to have that freedom, and now you're going to fucking pay to have those same people arrested? Isn't it time? Is it? I mean, really. I'm a pretty peaceful guy. But this is enough of the fucking bullshit. Enough. This man needs to be arrested. And this whole terroristic regime, this whole system. Then again, I'm going to remind you. History lesson here, folks. Okay, the system has failed three times. It has failed three times. It needs to be replaced. The governmental system does not work. It collapsed in the 1800s, formed a corporation. It fell apart in the 30s, and people were fucking starving. And you know what? They're starving now, and they're homeless now. And every one of you owes somewhere above $53,000 each, growing at a rate of about $1,000 per person every couple weeks, three at the most. The system doesn't work. Now, anyone that twists that into uh, the word similar to terrorists and makes that a bad note because you want the system to end, the system has failed three times, right? In a baseball game, you don't get concerned when you get three strikes and you get out. You get out. You don't harass anybody. Okay, there's three strikes. You need to get the fuck out of here. You need to get out of here. My kids don't owe you shit. And I'm going to ensure that they don't pay it if I have anything to say about it. It's not their debt. And, and you know what? I didn't authorize you spending that money killing people anyway. Bullshit. And now I'm going to tweet about it like I'm going to tweet this fucking video, Obama, you piece of shit. Infidel. Terroristic infidel. Get the hell out of my country. Take your loathsome wife with you. Give your children to somebody that will teach them some fucking ethics. Good Lord. Anyway. Uh, when are you going to stop this, people? May I remind you, November 5th, Million Mask March, D.C. and other places all over the globe. Any of you that have been watching the news, you know that protests have gone all over the globe. And they have started here, folks. Wake up to that fact. Occupy. Still going on in some places, solid for a year, all across the country. Wasn't that enough to show you that it's here? And now this, Million Mask March. Thousands of people already confirmed to go. Tens of thousands if we could get an accurate count. And a projected million. And it's taken off into a, a global event. We, the, the movement has support. Enough of the bullshit! We're not here to change things that don't need to be changed or harm people. This, this system is corrupt. It, it, it violates everything that we stand for. Everything. You, you can't send secret service agents to intimidate bloggers because they don't like the president and they tweet about it. People tweet about wiping their ass. That's okay. Just don't let them know you wiped your ass with Obama toilet paper or you're going to jail. No. No, we're not, sir. No. So anyway, to the Secret Service, you NSA, you cocksuckers, all of you, probably watching this. And if any of you don't like this and don't like my attitude and don't like my language, remember, you can report me to attackwatch.com. You'll see in other videos, I've already done that to myself twice, once with my former YouTube channel and once with this I've also reported my website to attackwatch.com. Because, see, that's the point. They want you to live in fear that they're watching you. I want you to fucking watch me. And I want you to fucking hear me. And I want you to leave. That's it. So if you agree with that, like the video, share the video, mirror the video, share the information. You need to stop this shit. The link to the Facebook Million Mask March will be below. You can also find it on Twitter by j just search. You know how to do that. Million Mask March. I'll put the link to the Twitter account as well. We need to get together, people. This is just one issue. And you know as well as I do, there is a laundry list of issues. Not just the invasion of privacy. You don't even know what's in your fucking food, water, and air anymore. Nothing. Nothing. 
is is going in a direction that supports freedom, safety, peace, love, none of it. And until you take it in your own hands and you do something about it, it's not going to. Now, I think those Secret Service men should be fucking arrested for being part of a criminal regime. And I think the man that sent them should be sitting in the jail cell next to them and everybody in between. The link to arrest Obama will be below. And I know a petition to arrest Obama isn't going to do anything, but it is going to do something. It's going to get some people to agree that it needs to be done, and the more people that agree that it needs to be done, it will be. And by the way, I don't know if you caught it, folks. I don't have a link for it now, but it's just coming to memory. Headlines a month ago that Obama is trying to rewrite the Constitution to eliminate term limits. If you don't fucking act quickly, he's not only going to be your president for the next couple of years, he's going to be your president for a long, long time, as long as he chooses. So, I would act while you can. I'm going to. I'll see you in D.C. on the 5th. Much love. Many thanks. Links will be below. Hello again, human beings from the planet Earth. Well, I was just sitting here thinking... While this video, or the first half of it, is processing uh, the whole Obama thing, and you know, we know the system is basically made to fail, or or it's a temporary system, right? Every few hundred years. Do you think the elite put Obama in just for that purpose, not for the purpose of more control, but for the purpose of complete and utter collapse? Because everything he's done is so vile. It just, it has to end. You don't have any choice. You have to end it now. You can't allow this. So, is it all a big psyop? The elite are ready for the system to end now? That's why Obama's here? I don't know. I'm just sharing thoughts. But, uh, that's what it seems like to me because there's no way you can tolerate this bullshit anymore. You've got to do something. Timing is everything, people. Timing is everything. Well, who set up the time? Who's in control of the time? Guess that really depends on you now, doesn't it? Much love. Many thanks. And I'll see you soon.